guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the Vice Cosmetics Makeup Line. I have a couple of products with me and they're on my face right now. So if you want to see how I apply them on my face and what I think about them, just keep on watching. Okay, so we're starting off with a moisturizer. I am using the Celotec Dermoscience Advanced Anti-Aging Anti-Wrinkle Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15. So while my moisturizer is setting in my face, I will be applying some brows and we'll be using the Gundal Micro Brow Pencil and we'll be topping that off with the Gundal Volumizing Brow Gel. So I got these in two different shades just to see like the difference. I got the brow pencil in ash brown and then the brow gel in natural brown. So here is the brow pencil and one thing that I love about this is the fact that the tip is very thin and precise. And then it also has a spoolie on the other end, which is kind of normal for brow pencils. But the spoolie is kind of small, which makes it a lot hard, not a lot harder, but it's more difficult to like comb your brows just because you don't get, you don't hit as much hair as you can with like a larger spoolie. So with spoolies at the back of a brow pencil, I like something a little bit bigger because I'm not applying product anyway, I'm just combing my brows. I just tried to swatch this on the back of my hand and a piece already fell off. A piece already fell off because it's too dry na if you apply too much pressure, it is going to break. So yeah, that is one thing that I've noticed with this product. It's, a, it's super dry. It's not creamy at all. So it makes it harder to apply brows and it makes it mas matagal ka mag apply ng brows because of that. One thing I like, pag hindi siya super creamy, is hindi siya mabilis maubos and makakontrol mo yung amount ng product na ilalagay mo sa brows mo. But with this one, nasobrahan naman siya sa pagka-dry. So mafe-feel mo talaga yung pencil na gumuguhit sa brows mo when you're applying this product. Yung ash brown na shade, I feel like is perfect if you have like a darker hair or like black hair. Yan. Sobrang okay yung shade niya. Yun nga lang yung formula niya. Hindi siya super creamy. Medyo may pagka dry siya. Yan. Kung lumagpas ka naman, you can just wipe it off. Now, is this long lasting? Actually, from the first time I've tried this to up until now, whenever I apply this in the morning, ganun pa rin naman yung itsura niya when I get home. So I guess it is long lasting and nakaka contribute doon sa pagka long lasting niya yung hindi pagka creamy ng formula niya kasi when it sticks on your skin, it's just there. So okay naman siya, yun nga lang. Like I said, hindi siya creamy, so mafi-feel mo yung pencil gliding on your skin because na feel mo talaga na ginuguhitan mo yung brows mo. But other than that, the spoolie is okay. I mean, it's not the Largest spoolie, but I love the fact that in integrate niya yung spoolie, tapos yung ash brown na shade, I feel like it's perfect lang talaga if you have dark hair. Now we have the Gandal, 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 Gandal Volumizing Brow Gel. So yan, medyo, ito naman, nasobrahan sa pagka chunky yung spoolie niya. My favorite brow gel is yung from Sunny's Face because ang nipis nung spoolie niya and hindi ka talaga makakalampas sa brows mo which is something na lagi ko naggagawa pag nagbabrow gel lang ako. And look at the difference of the spoolie. As in, ang layo nung difference ng pagkakapal. Although maganda naman yung formula ng brow gel ni Gandal and even yung natural brown, it's not too warm na magbumukha siyang red-ish sa brows mo. Maganda yung color niya. Yung color payoff niya, I mean. And then, ayun nga yung sinasabi ko, lumalagpas ako kasi I'm such a klutz. And I just apply it talaga sa dulo ng brows ko. Sana nipisa ni... Oh, ayan, oh. As you can see, ayan, lumampas na ako. Hindi naman lumampas, naparami lang yung apply. So, if naparami yung apply nyo, all you have to do is go back with like a clean spoolie and then just use that to spread the product. Ito yun na lang talaga. Maganda naman yung formula niya pero yung preference, if yung preference mo is a thinner spoolie then don't get it because like I said, ang chunky nga sobra ng spoolie niya. Ako, pag nagmamadali ako, sobrang magkakalampas-lampas ako and madidefeat yung purpose na 
nagmamadali ako. So, kailangan ko na madaling gamitin na product. So, medyo kailangan mo mag-ingat kasi nga makapal siya. On the other note, if hindi ka naman mabilis lumampas like me, mabilis ka makaka-finish ng brow because ang daming masasakop na brow hair when you use a bigger brush. Pero, if you're like me, like a, a klots, mas prefer ko yung smaller na spoolie kasi hindi ako makakakalat nun. Anyway, it's time for the face products. So, they released the Vice Duo Finish Powder Foundation and I got this in the shade Sopinai. It's oil controlling, it's buildable, and it has a blurring effect. So, sheer coverage lang siya because nabablur niya lang yung mga imperfections mo on your face. So, like I said, I got this in the shade Sopinai and to be honest, I thought this was gonna be my perfect shade but as you can see, it's a lot darker. Ayan no. But ko sin watch, hindi pa ka pa primer. Anyway, it came with a sponge pero hindi ko gusto yung sponge niya because I don't know, it just makes the application look so patchy. So I haven't used that sponge. And then I just use the Anakai Air Blender sponge to apply the product all over my face. So again, it defeats the purpose kasi kunyari you're traveling and you just want to bring like a powder compact. I think you might have to buy a separate sponge because for me talaga, hindi ko talaga nagustuhan yung sponge niya. I don't know, if is it just me? Kasi parang lahat naman ng napapanood kong reviews, sobrang nirave nila yung product na to. But I had a different experience. But before we go into that, we'll be applying the product, of course, and I'll be using my Becca Backlight Primer. So I'll be applying primer all over my face. And then for my T-zone, I use the Touch and Soul Nor Problem Primer. For concealer, I'm using the Benefit Boying Concealer. This is the full coverage one. This is the Cakeless Concealer. And I just got it in a deluxe sample size because I didn't want to buy the full size. I just wanted to try this out. And I've been loving it for like medium coverage looks. Yung mga pang arrow arrow lang talaga. Now that I've applied my concealer, let's start using the powder foundation. And one thing I love about this is the fact yung layout niya is powder and then yung sponge, supposedly. Because the mirror is a lot bigger, so it's easier to do your full face of makeup kasi kita mo siya. As opposed to yung mga Benefit Hello Happy, ganito yung layout niya. So, medyo maliit lang yung mirror. So, for traveling, maganda yung mirror niya. Ako, gusto kong gusto ko yung mirror niya. So, baka daling ko to para lang sa mirror. Joke. Hindi naman ganun. But anyway, let's start applying this. And I'm, like I said, I'm using the Anakai Air blender sponge yeah, and we'll just dab it at there tapos we'll do patting motions all over my face i'll do this side first so we can compare yung coverage ng the one with the product without the product yeah and madami akong veins here so let's see if maka cover niya yon blurring lang naman hindi naman cover as you can see, it's a lot darker than my skin tone i'm a mac nc40 and yung soapy na medyo a tad bit darker lang siya onting onti lang naman tsaka medyo orangey siya in my opinion Ayan, oh. Can you guys see that? Let me lower my lights. Ayan. Medyo orangey siya. Tapos napansin ko rin, parang a couple of times ko na ito nagapit. Mga more than five times. Pero yung vice dun sa pinakapan niya, medyo nawawala na. Which is super bilis. First time ko maka-experience na ganyan kabilis mawala yung parang embossed or yung yeah, yung embossed thing niya sa pan. Kasi usually when I use products, ang tagal ko talaga makaubos kahit na araw-arawin ko yun. Pero ito ang bilis. So, ibig sabihin, mabilis mauubos yung product niyo guys. It is 0.25 ounces of product lang. Ayan. I think I've added way too much product na. As you can see, blur, biniblur niya lang talaga yung imperfections. It's not a medium coverage powder foundation. So, it's very sheer. So, it's for everyday use lang if you're going to the grocery, bank, doing errands. Pang ganun lang siya. Hindi siya yung pang lalabas kayo ng friends mo. Unless, super perfect ng skin mo at hindi mo naman talaga kailangan mag-foundation. Pero ako kasi, gusto ko nabablur niya yung mga veins ko at saka yung mga little scars ko sa face. Like, wala akong acne scars pero mahilig ako maglaro nung bata ako so madami akong sugat sa mukha. Kasi lampa ako. Lampa tabachoy. Kasi hindi naman ako payat. Nung bata ako. <laughs> so for me, if I'm using a powder foundation, of course, I want something that has coverage. Kasi kaya nga ako nagpa-foundation eh. Pero ito, medyo parang wala lang talaga siya. Parang, siguro kung oily ka, gagana to. Kasi, 
kung oily ka, tas clear yung skin mo, wala ka namang itatago. Pwede siya. Pero, for me talaga, parang, I don't know. Parang feeling ko wala pa rin foundation yung face ko. Ano bang gusto ko? Yung gusto ko yung super smooth kasi yung skin ko. So it all depends on your preferences. Tsaka the first time I used this talaga with a sponge, mukha talaga siyang patchy all over my face. So I just use yung sarili kong sponge para mas maganda. And kailangan ba talaga i-build up yung mga areas na may kailangan ka itago? Kasi sobrang low nung coverage niya. And then for my under eye, para hindi mag-move yung concealer ko, if I want to apply more product, I'm just gonna use like a dual fiber brush. And that is what I'll use to set my concealer. Kasi para hindi mag-move. So I think okay na yan for now. Baka sabihin nyo ano bang tinatago ko sa face ko at apply ako ng apply ng foundation. Pero yun nga, super sheer coverage lang siya. And ako, hindi ako mahilig sa sheer coverage foundation. Gusto ko pag nag-makeup ako, back makeup. So, hindi siya para sa akin. But if gusto mo yung no makeup makeup look, mahilig ka sa ganong look, then go for this one. It's nice naman. Pero yun nga, um, hindi siya super long lasting din. Napansin ko, at the end of the day, medyo wala na siya. Like, meron pa rin, pero, kasi at, to begin with, sheer coverage na siya eh. So, at the end of the day, parang, parang wala ka ng makeup. <laughs> but anyway, I am gonna use the Vice Aura Contour Powder. And this is in the shade For Sure. It's smooth, vibrant, and buildable. Ito, nagustuhan ko to kasi compact siya, maliit. Pero, wala siyang mirror. So, I have to use this again and open it. So, bibili mo talaga to kasi para sa mirror. Joke. <laughs> but anyway, maganda siya siya for travel. Pero walang mirror eh. Kasi yung mga, meron akong mga tart na ganito ka lang kaliit. May mirror talaga siya. So, magagamit mo pa rin na ito lang. Nakaganyan ka. So, yun lang yung ayaw ko dito. Walang mirror. And then, yung shade niya naman, yung for sure, na I find it not too cool. It's a little bit warm. So, you don't have to apply bronzer na after. And it's also long lasting ah. In fairness naman sa product na to. Napansin ko na at the end of the day, contoured pa rin yung face ko. You really need to build it up. Kasi hindi siya yung super pigmented na product. So you have to start light and then just slowly build yourself up. Natural warmth lang yung nabibring niya sa face nyo. But then, nakakontour niya pa rin if medyo chubby cheeks ka and gusto mo ng medyo chiseled look. Ayan, perfect siya. Like I said, hindi ko alam bakit contour powder yung tinawag nila dito kasi medyo warm siya eh. Parang mas mabenta siyang bronzer in my opinion. Kasi ayan oh. And then, of course, we must not forget about my nose. My big nose. Hindi rin siya super powdery, which is very nice. Madali lang i-control yung product. Warm. Medyo warm talaga siya. Now for blush, we're using the Aura Blush in the shade Title. And ito, super love this. Maganda siya pang drunk blush na look. And it's very long-lasting. Napansin ko sa blush na to, at the end of the day, it's still on my face. So, maganda yung, yung contour and yung blush powders niya. It has little glitter reflexes, but not too much na it will accentuate texture on your face. Maganda lang siya na parang little flexes lang para pag nag-beam yung light, medyo may shining, shimmering, splendid ka. Onti lang naman. And it also is very blendable. Blendable. I was gonna say blendable and buildable, but it ended up saying blendable. So yeah, blendable siya. Buildable and blendable. Mga pauso ni Yuni, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some setting spray first, and then I'm gonna apply some highlighter. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. Just to melt everything in, and I find that the powder foundation, but after you set it with setting spray, iba na yung itsura niya, mas maganda yung lapat niya sa face mo, mas magmukha siyang smooth. And I think that's normal naman for all other makeup products, na pagkatapos mo talaga iset siya with the setting spray, it really melts in your face, and mas maganda lang talaga yung itsura niya, and mas mukhang natural looking, but with coverage. Pero yung sa powder foundation na to, talaga, it's really sheer coverage, as you can see. Yung veins ko, nagpipeak through pa rin siya dito sa area na to. Now, I'm just gonna apply some highlighter because hindi ako nakabili ng highlighter from Vice Cosmetics. And I'm just using the ELF and the Heart Defensor Collaboration. Haven't used this in a while. And I was like, I'm feeling Filipino today. So, Heart Defensor. Now, of course, the one that started it all, I think the first collection was lip products. So, I got the Vice Phenomenal Velvet Liquid Lip Kit. And sobrang laki ng box niya, guys. Ito lang yung laman, tong dalawa. Sobrang waste of packaging. And I don't know, it's just too big. Sana kalhati na lang, di ba? 
But anyway, I got this in the shade Voulez-vous. Voulez-vous yun ba yun? I think yun yung ina-achieve niya. But anyway, um, Ultra Soft Glide Lip Liner. What I love about this one naman is the fact na it's retractable. So in fairness sa price point niya, nakagawa siya ng retractable na lip liner. Kasi yung Kylie na liquid lip kit, ay just ko, hindi, retracta hindi retractable yung lip liner nun. Stress ako. The liner is also very creamy, so it's very easy to apply. There, so this is the lip liner in the shade Voulez-vous, and then we'll just top it off with the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And there you have it. So with the Velvet Liquid Lipstick naman, I love it because it's lightweight, it's buttery and creamy, and it's very easy to apply. I also love the fact that the doe foot applicator is very thin, so it's very easy to use, and that's hindi, hindi ka masyadong lalampas. Ayoko na masyadong malaking brush kasi most of the time, maliit lang naman yung lips ko, so lumalagpas ako. But anyway, is it long-lasting? Yes, it is. But if you eat or you drink water, magta-transfer talaga siya, and you do have to reapply after. Pero hindi naman siya super patchy looking. I really don't mind reapplying unless I'm going out for like an event or whatnot, tapos hindi I'm hurry apply right away. The Velvet Liquid Lip Kit super sulit niya because for the price point you get a retractable lip liner and then a very lightweight liquid lipstick. Yun nga lang, ayoko lang talaga yung packaging niya. I don't, just don't know, yung hot pink, medyo na to turn off ako. So yeah, anyway, I'll fix up my hair and we'll talk about all the products in a little bit. Okay, so let's start off with the Gandal Micro Brow Pencil and the Volumizing Brow Gel. The thing I love about both products is the fact that their shades are so perfect. Like, the ash brown is not too gray, the natural brown is not reddish in any way, shape, or form. So perfect talaga yung shades niya. Hindi siya nag-oxidize din sa akin and very long-lasting naman siya. The thing I don't like about the micro brow pencil is like I said, it's too dry. So most of the time, if you apply too much pressure on it, sa kakatry mo na i-draw yung brows mo, baka ma-break lang siya. So medyo mahirap siya in that sense. The one thing that I don't like about the volumizing brow gel is the fact that the brush is too thick. If they make it a little bit thinner, I think mas, bag mas okay siya because you still get that easy brows na madaling i-apply but also hindi ka mabilis lalampas because pres mas precise yung application mo with a thinner brush. Next product is the Vice Cosmetics na Dual Finish Foundation. Like I said, I feel like yung soapy na, medyo dark siya sa skin to, sa skin ko. Pero once I apply it all over my face na tapos nag-setting spray ako, umu-okay naman siya with, um, with the right bronzer or contour powder and highlighter. Mas okay naman na yung itsura niya sa face ko. Pero feeling ko a little, um, a shade lighter ako and medyo orangey at siya at first when you apply it. But after you spray some setting spray, medyo pag nag-melt na siya sa skin mo, medyo mas smooth yung look niya compared to when you just apply it initially. Yung other problem ko with this is medyo sheer coverage nga siya, which I know for some people, mas gusto nila yung sheer coverage, pero ako gusto ko yung medium coverage talaga even with my powder foundation because I like my veins to disappear, not necessarily disappear, pero ayoko nakikita siya. And with this powder foundation, medyo blurred lang talaga siya, hindi siya completely wala. And then the other thing I love about this is yung mirror niya, yung layout niya. So, Malaki yung enough yung mirror niya. So if you're traveling, pwede na ito yung mirror mo because you can definitely see your entire face and do your makeup using this mirror. Yun nga lang, yung sponge niya then I feel like it's useless because hindi niya talaga nabigyan ng justice yung product. The sponge doesn't apply the product very well. So I did have to go in with my own sp sponge pa. So it defeats the purpose na pag nagta-travel ka, ito lang yung dadalhin mo. Kailangan mo pa magdala ng isa pang sponge. But that's just me. That's my sponge preference. But anyway, it's still okay for the price point. I feel like... Pede na siya, pero it could do better. Now we have two face powders, the Aura Contour in the shade Porsure. The Aura Contour in the shade Porsure, one thing I love about it, it's small, it's compact. What I don't like about it is walang mirror. Most of the time, siguro, kung gagamitin mo naman to, is meron ka nito. So, may mirror ka, ba? Pero, mas okay pa rin na may sarili na siyang mirror para mas madali siyang bitbitin and magagamit mo talaga siya ng ganto. Pero, okay lang yun kasi mura lang naman talaga siya. So, siguro yung budget niya for packaging, hindi niya na-include yung mirror. But anyway, yung formula ng product itself, yung powder, it's not too powdery. It's, not, it's also not buttery. 
pero pigmented siya when you apply it on your face. The color is perfect kasi contour and bronzer na siya in one. Hindi siya too cool, hindi rin siya too warm. It's just right na hindi ko na kailangan mag-bronzer after ko pa mag-contour. It's very long-lasting as well. When I apply it in the morning, when I get home at in the afternoon, it's still on my face. And same goes with the blush. So I got the blush in the shade title. And like I said, it has little glitter specks na maganda lang siya para may onting reflex sa face mo. And yung shade niya, Medyo muted red siya. So, maganda siya for a natural drunk blush look. Drunk, natural ba yung drunk blush? Pero yung magand, mag, parang, it's not too pink. It's also not too red. It's the in-between. So, maganda siyang neutral na color that will go with a lot of eyeshadow looks. And it, like I said, very long-lasting. Love these two products. And I'm very surprised because the price points are very low talaga for these. And they perform really well naman. The Velvet Liquid Lip Kit. So, personally, I can shy away from the packaging because it's so big and bulky. You don't need that. Sayang din yung counter space nila, ha? To be fair, kapag sa mga... Saan ba sila? So, 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 like, so Watson. Sayang yung counter space nila kasi ang laki yun. Sayang yung ano. Anyway, di ko na problema yon Yung product itself, I love the fact na super mura lang niya. Pero, retractable lip liner yung kasama niya. Hindi the sharpener, retractable lip liner. And it's very creamy as well. Yung shade is good then It's nice for everyday looks. Hindi siya too bright. In my opinion, maganda lang siyang pang patwi thumbs na look. And then, the Velvet Liquid Lip Kit. It's very lightweight, creamy, and buttery. It's pigmented as well. Like, one swipe will do the job. Pero ako gusto ko yung medyo nilalami-damihan ka pang ganyan. It's long-lasting, yes, if you don't drink water, if you don't eat. Pero once you drink water, you eat, it will transfer to wherever your lip touches. So it's not transfer-proof. Pero, like I said, with lipsticks, I can do away with, you know, reapplying them. As long as it's not drying, which is, this one is not drying at all. And it's very comfortable on the lips. Like, it's very lightweight. I don't even feel like I have lipstick on. So I really love that product as well. So for the entire product, I love the fact that it's very affordable. The only thing is yung branding niya lang talaga. Medyo hot pink na in your face. So hindi ko siya by the display. I don't like, I don't want it in my vanity. Hindi siya masyadong, hindi siya yung same na look ng mga Sony's face na ganyan na medyo minimalist, yung happy skin. Medyo boom yung product niya. Which I guess is the personality din ni Vice. And since ito yung product siya nga to. So, yun lang yung ayaw ko talaga sa kanya, yung packaging medyo... At saka yung the way they name the products, medyo ang hirap minsan. For sure, Volivu. Parang ang hirap pag tinanong ka, anong shade ng lipstick mo? Volivu. <laughs> Parang ano yun, di ba? As opposed to, kunyari sa lip dip, anong shade ng, ng lipstick mo? Posh. Coco. Ganyan, di ba? Parang Volivu yung shade ng lipstick mo. Anong shade ng blush mo? Anong blush mo? Ah, yung Aura Contour. Aura ba o Aura? Ewan ko. Yun lang. Parang... Ang off lang niya. Medyo unique siya, pero also, yung personality ko, hindi naman ako mahilig sa mga ganong words. So, hindi lang siya apt for me. Pero overall, yung product itself niya, yung formula, okay naman. May ma-improve pa siya with the price points because sobrang mura niya na afford siya na mas marami sa atin. Pero feeling ko, like, yung powder foundation, yung kung gandahan niya pa yung sponge, di ba, mas okay. Ito, kung lagyan niya na mirror. Parang may ma-improve pa talaga yung products niya. I'm definitely excited to try out other products that they will be releasing in the near future. For me, for for now, first time ko itry yung products niya. And I am really surprised na nagustuhan ko siya. And I've been using them, oh, not naman every day, pero I've been using them most of the time, which really surprised me. Kasi at first, I was like, baka naman, nilagyan lang yan ang pangalan niya. Design and formulated in LA siya tapos made in China. So, asan yung part na local brand siya? Asin na saan? The fact ba na Vice Cosmetics siya? I don't know. Yun lang yung medyo skeptical ako kasi if nilagay lang yung name niya ba doon sa product? or tumulong talaga siya mag-formulate ng mga colors, ng names, and whatnot. So yeah, that is all I have to say with the Vice Cosmetics line. I really enjoyed filming this video because sobrang na-enjoy ko lang na try to try out local brands from the Philippines because I've been using a lot of um, mga banyaga na brands, you know, international brands, and I'm just really surprised na ang daming magandang local brands in the Philippines. And mura lang siya, so maa-afford siya ng mas marami to get into makeup. So yeah, that is everything that I have to say, if you enjoyed watching this video, do give this video a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Once again, it's Eunice. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!